It's in the Bible, folks. It says right there, clearly in the Bible, that homosexuality is bad. It's evil. It's immoral. Um, just wonder, just one quick little question, though. Has anybody actually checked to see what it says in the Bible about homosexuality? Okay. Leviticus 18.22 Mankind shall not lie with mankind as they would with womankind, for this is an abomination. That is the, or is the quote that is most often used by Christians to condemn homosexuality. Now let's look at that. Mankind shall not lie with mankind as he would with womankind, for this is an abomination. Basically meaning a man cannot lie with a man the same way that he would with a woman. Well, yeah, no shit. Okay, think about that for a second. A man, a man cannot lie with a man the same way that he would with a woman. You know, obviously... Obviously, a man can't lie with a man the same way he would with a woman. It just doesn't work that way. <laughs> so, okay. And the reason why he can't do that, aside from the fact that it's physically impossible, is because it's an abomination. Oh, God, an abomination. Okay. Well, here's the thing, though. Uh, let's see. First off, uh, the majority of Christians that I've talked to uh, will often tell me that, you know, the Old Testament doesn't matter anymore. It's from before Jesus. Nothing in it makes sense. Nothing in it is valid. It's irrelevant. You don't even have to read the Old Testament. Yet, where is this book of Leviticus? In the Old Testament. <laughs> okay. So there's one little issue there with the most Christians is that they'll say that you know, you don't have to read this book, but because it's written, this thing's written in this book, you have to live by it. Yeah, no. Okay. Why is homosexuality such a bad thing? Well, first off, Leviticus 18.22 doesn't say anything about homosexuality. Doesn't say anything about the homosexual lifestyle. All it says is that a man cannot lie with a man the same way he would with a woman. Okay, doesn't say anything about lesbians, doesn't say that lesbians can't do it, just says men can't do it, and that men can't do it, you know, it, all it does is condemns just the, the basic act, you know, but why, you know, why is it so bad? It's an abomination, an abomination unto the Lord, okay, well. Let's see, uh, if we thumb through the book of Leviticus a little bit further, we will find Leviticus chapter 11, verses 9 through 12, which state, Any creature that dwells within the sea that hath not fins nor scales is an abomination, and you shall not eat of its flesh, for that is an abomination. So basically what that's saying is that if you eat a clam or a lobster or a crab that's every single bit as bad as being gay according to the Bible eating eating clams you know having steamed clams is every bit as bad as being gay and yet we notice that we've all seen those signs on the side of the road right in front of churches that say you know that are advertising for the church's annual clam bake you know apparently it's perfectly fine for Christians to eat uh, to eat uh, shellfish. I mean, why not? It's not like it says anything against that in the Bible. Oh, wait! It does! It says that it's every bit as bad as being gay! So, we... So, the Christians have to condemn the evil homosexuals because they commit an abomination unto the Lord. However... When the Christians want to eat clams or lobsters or crabs, eh, who cares? It's in the Old Testament. Nobody follows the Old Testament anyway. You know? I love it. I just love it. I, you know, I'm not gay myself, but I am an atheist. 
that shouldn't make the uh, difference though because I was I was raised Christian I studied it I studied it all I could and you know I, I realized no nah, I, I just I'm not gonna believe this but that's just the part I love about it so much the hypocrisy here you know if you're gay you're evil and you're going to hell for being gay but if you eat clams or crabs or lobsters, hey, they're good seafood. You know, I'm going to go eat some seafood and uh, condemn gay people because that's what Christians do. All right, well, um, just thought I'd leave you with that little piece of information. Just, you know, just kind of, just kind of think about that for a little bit, you know? All right, have fun. Later.